Hi everyone, it's Leilani. Welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be working on another Project Life Spread for week 22 of 2022. So this week I am using some fun printables from Nellie and Clem. I'll link everything below. I do use like three different kits. I use little bits and pieces from each of them so I will just link everything that I use below now I will say all of the die cuts are from the podcasting kit that Danielle has I love that kit and um I was super excited to be able to use it. Um, one of the die cuts that I really wanted to use, you'll see here in a few minutes, is this little um, like iPhone. So you'll see how I use that as we go. But that was kind of what uh, drew me to the podcasting kit in the first place. But as we begin here, I knew that I wanted to use this big stamp. So this is just a really old stamp that I've used a ton of times from Allie Edwards. I think it was a December daily stamp set. I love it for these large numbers. And for me, it's perfect to add into Project Life from time to time. So um, I do just stamp that out. I was using some of my Catherine Pooler inks there. I stamp out the 22 and we're going to add that right on. And then I'm going to use some citrus twist um, alphas the pink alphas I have had those several times over the past few years and they're one of my all-time favorite alphas they're like a foam and they're the perfect size for project life and I love them so I'm really excited to have them back again because I just bought them in a recent haul so I add week on there and then I will work on adding my dates and adding a few embellishments so besides that, how has everyone's week been? Um, I had a really good week, but I will say this was another one of those weeks where I didn't have any photos. So I feel like I did a really good job of kind of uh, getting some pictures here for my project life at the last minute. So while I'm adding on a few things onto this card, I'll kind of tell you about my week and what I did to get some pictures here. So basically the only photo that I really had for the week was um, of the peppers that were growing in our little garden that we've uh, planted this year. And I will say that the pepper photo I took like on one of the last days of the week. So that was like the only picture that I had was a few pictures of some of the veggies that were growing. So I was like, what am I going to do? So one thing that I was really bummed that I did not get any pictures of was that me and my mom finally went to the library this week, which was so fun. So we haven't gone to the library like in years and years. And there's this large library in Memphis that we wanted to go to. So it's been kind of like on our bucket list here to go to the library for the past like maybe three months. And we've just had a lot of trouble getting there. So we finally were able to go. It was so much fun. We had such a blast. It's like a really, really huge library. So we had to ride in an elevator and we found the section that we wanted and we just perused forever. We looked in the mystery section and there was like a trillion cozy mysteries, which was so fun. They had paperbacks on these little tourney racks and they had all of the hardback mysteries and they had graphic novels that were really fun to look at and a really awesome like pride section and stuff so we just had so much fun my mom got like four books I only got two because I already have kind of a large TBR that I'm trying to work through anyways but I'm um, just super excited but anyways we did not get any photos that day and that was like the biggest thing that I did this week so what I ended up doing was I took a picture um, the day that I was working on this project life spread, I just snapped a photo really quick of the library card that I got, which is that pretty card there at the top, the four by six. I did use the app, um, photo room and I took out the background so it would be nice and white and crisp and took that photo and added that right into my project life. And then the picture at the bottom is one of the graphic novels that I checked out and I loved the illustrations and thought it was so pretty. So I decided to snap a photo of that as well. So that was something that I was really happy that I was able to do to kind of bring in that library story, um, even though I didn't have any photos of the day at the library. 
Beside that, I had created a little graphic um, for my Cozy Mystery Book Club over on Patreon where I'll put in the book that we're going to read every month. So this month we're reading A Deadly Inside Scoop. So I just printed that right off so that I could add in here since it's now June and a lot of people are starting to read the book and everything and we will have our uh, book club meeting at the end of the month. So that's really exciting. And then at the bottom... I definitely knew that I wanted to print off some sort of uh, thing about Stranger Things because me and Will finished that this week and we had binged the first seven episodes so that was really fun. So I knew that I wanted to document that so I just printed off like a movie poster off of Google and then um, my favorite podcast, The Cool Kids Club, whenever I was listening to it this week, I did screenshot um you know, me lit like the, the screen of me listening to it. So whenever I saw this die cut of this iPhone, I knew that that would be perfect to print off the cool kids club logo really small and add it right into the screen of the little iPhone there to talk about the podcast that I've been listening to. So I thought that that was really fun as well. And I was able to fill in all of the spots here and ended up having a really colorful and fun project life spread so that made me really happy so then as you can see I've used several die cuts there on my um, title card and also I created a filler card with the yellow background which I really liked I love it whenever anything with smiley faces are included and I always love the little coffee mugs and kind of like I like that cluster of building up off of that coffee mug on that card so I thought that that was really fun and then the rainbow with that little purple heart just fit perfectly around my library card and then I did use a few other um, alphas from uh, Citrus Twist as well those smaller white alphas to write out library time on the top photo and then I do add a few tiny word stickers and some of these little gold stars just to finish everything off if you noticed before I wanted to add a little bit of journaling so I put a label onto the photo with the library card but I didn't end up liking it so I pulled that off and added a little like um, flag that pink flag to the side of the card basically to cover up my mistake where I'd put that label so I knew that I still wanted to add a little bit of journaling though so here in a few you will see that I will add a label onto that blue card with the heart on it because I did want to tell the story of going to the library and just kind of give a little blurb about the week. I typically like to have some sort of journaling, even if it's a small amount, if not a lot went on in the week. I still enjoy having some sort of journaling on my Project Life page. So I was really excited to be able to use some of these Nellie and Clem printables this week. I just always have a lot of fun working with um, Danielle's products. They are always colorful and fun and a lot of things that she creates products for are things that I love so it just works out so perfectly so I really like the way that this one ended up turning out and it's really fun to look at I love all of the bright colors and I was just really proud of myself that I was able to kind of get some photos um, taken last minute and still able to kind of create that fun library experience with the graphic novel photo and with the library card uh, photo at the top even though I didn't take any pictures of my library day but we we will definitely be back and I will definitely have some pictures uh, at the library the next time. But this one's just short and sweet, y'all, so I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a like. Please also consider subscribing, and I will talk to y'all next time. Bye, you guys.